Thank you. 
Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Our country and the whole world is now facing a tremendous challenge due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This has greatly affected our normal way of life and our educational system. However, it should not hinder us from achieving our goals and bringing change to our lives and to the world. This could be realized if we are armed with the most powerful weapon, and that is the problem. of Lucrecia R. Casillas Senior High School with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amidst the COVID-19 Pandemic. To formally start our program, we stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem followed by the winning prayer. After which will be the NCR hymn, Quezon City hymn, and Quezon City Division hymn through an audio-visual presentation. at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang magiliw, pwede sa silanganan, alam ng puso, sa titig mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, tuyang ka ng magiting, sa manlulupi, di ka pasisigil, sa dagat at bundok, sa siway at sa langit mong bughaw. May hirap ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang isa't ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagdiningning Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidiling Lupa ng araw ng walhat ipagsinta Buhay langit sa piling mo
Jesus que son aming mahal Araw-uay sa ganang tunay Sa amin ang alam mo'y buhay Sa iyo kung sila kami nagpupugay Lungsod que son aming mahal Ugat ka ng lay at kagitingan Ito'y nupling mithing banal Sa iyo ang pag-ibig namin at dahal Sa iyo ang pag-ibig namin is no 
other than hearing it from our very own OIC principal, Mrs. Dominga P. Cabani. Let's give her a virtual round of applause. Blessed and safe afternoon, everyone. To our Deputy Secretary, Secretary Leonor Magtonis Priones, Deputy Regional Director, Dr. Wilfredo Lee Cabral, our School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Jenilyn Rose B. Kerpus, together with all ASDSS, the Chiefs, and the Heads of Departments of the School's Division Office, Quezon City, Honorable Mayor Pasiglina Joy Alimurong Wilmonte, Honorable Congressman Anthony Peter Onyx Crisodobo, parents, graduates, and all who are watching this virtual graduation ceremonies, good afternoon. First, I would like to congratulate all our senior high school graduates. This is the time that you have been waiting for. The culmination of 13 years of studies from kindergarten to senior high school. Indeed, it is already an accomplishment. And I believe this occasion is something that you, graduates, could remember fondly for the rest of your life. It is a significant day, not only for graduates and the school, but also for our dear parents, relatives, and friends who became part of your stay in the school. Our K-12 curriculum has gone through remarkable milestones. The challenge of meeting individual differences has prevailed with the introduction of inclusive education, the call to cater for students' diversified needs becomes urgent. There is an abrupt change in our curriculum design and pedagogies to respond to the needs of 21st century learners. And most of all, the change in the learning platforms due to COVID-19 pandemic. The transformation of teaching techniques and strategies leading to optimum use of technology. All of this have been surpassed by the school. Strategies of different interventions have been employed in the different learning areas in order that learners can move to the next education level. Challenges and sacrifices come along with punctuation of successes and failures. And, in the end, we managed to succeed in all. With this, a heartfelt appreciation and commendation to all teaching and non-teaching personnel of the Presbyterian Casilla Senior High School. Credit is also due to all the external stakeholders of the school, the GPTA, the Rotary Clubs, the higher education institutions, the PETA, NCCA, and all partners of the school. A deepest thanks and gratitude is also due to our local government unit officials, headed by our supportive and generous mayor, Mayor Joy Belmonte, for all the assistance you rendered to the school. And most of all, to the school's division office officials, headed by our brilliant and hard-working school's division superintendent, Dr. Jenilyn Rose B. Corpus, for making Quezon City Schools a breeding nest of successful people. So to end this, a message of affirmation is hereby granted to graduate graduates for successfully completing the course with flying colors. God has showered you with different potentials and talents for you to nurture in your further studies and future career. Once again, congratulations. Mabuhay po tayo lahat. Thank you, Mom Kabadi, for welcoming our graduates, parents, and guests. Your leadership brought us to where we are now. Today is indeed a significant moment in the lives of our students as we witness their graduation and joyfully celebrate the time for harvesting the fruits of their labor and sacrifices. To give our graduates rousing greetings, let's virtually welcome the representative from the school's division office. 
our honorable schools division superintendent schools division of Quezon City Dr. Jeneline Rose B. Corpus, SESO 6. To our proactive principal, Dr. Dominga P. Cabadin of Locrecia Arcasilag Senior High School, dear teachers, parents, SPTA officials, guests and students, a blessed afternoon to all of us. We welcome you to Locrecia Arcasilag Senior High School. This school year, our educational system was tested by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, the challenges brought about by the enforced quarantine due to the disease did not become an obstacle to continue the pursuit for knowledge. The efforts to learn and perseverance of the students to achieve their dreams successful collaboration between parents and teachers as well as the education officials community workers and stakeholders has ensured the delivery of education that is whole effective and meaningful one of the lasting legacies of our experiences in the new normal is the realization that our Children's education is the responsibility not only of the students, teachers, and parents, but of the whole community. Today, as we witness our children's smiles of joy at their success in learning despite the pandemic, let us bow to continue to be united towards ensuring a better tomorrow where their dreams will come true. Congratulations to all and may God bless us all. Thank you, Dr. Bangan, for the heartwarming greetings to our Batch 2020-2021 graduates. Another greetings will be coming from our representative of Lucretia R. Casillas Senior High School, our very own SSG President, Justin A. Lozano. Mula sa araw na puno ng tap at pangamba, hanggang sa araw na labis ng muti at gala, dala ng isang tagumpat. To our City Mayor Honorable Maria Josefina Joy G. Belmonte, to our Congressman of District 1, Honorable Anthony Peter D. Quisolodo, to our School Division Superintendent, Dr. Jenny B. Corpus, CESO 6, to our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Engineer Mark Walter Padilla, to Dr. Ana Rosa Rabanal, PSDL Senior High School Focal Person, to our Dr. Estrella Pangan, PSDS assigned to Lucretia R. Casilag Senior High School, to our Principal, Ms. Dominga P. Cabadin, to our Assistant Principal, Ms. Maria Cecilia Basconcillo, faculty and staff, and to my fellow Casilagan, and to our parents, and to all the people who join us as we celebrate this wonderful event. A blessed afternoon. First of all, on behalf of the student body of our beloved alma mater, Lucrecia Arigasino Senior High School, I wanted to express my sincere gratitude to all the persons behind of this special event, and to God who made this possible. This school year is really a different from the other school years we had, but this day proves that no pandemic can stop us from achieving our goals. And today, I, Justine Lozano, a young student and an SSG president, welcome each and every one of you to second virtual commencement exercises. Our hearts are filled with so much gratitude because you are taking part of in this momentous event. At this point, the senior high school graduating class of school year 2020-2021 will be presented and attested 
by our beloved OIC Principal, Mrs. Dominga P. Caban. The confirmation will be done by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Jedlin Rose P. Corpus, Sesso 6. Please welcome them with a virtual round of applause. Beloved Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Jedlin Rose B. Perpus, I have the honor to present the 56 young men and 99 young women, a total of 155 graduating students of La Crescia Argasilag Senior High School in the school year 2020-2021. They have successfully completed the requirements of the K-12 curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education or secondary schools of the Republic of the Philippines. May I now request the confirmation of their graduation? By the power vested in me by the Secretary of the Department of Education, Dr. Leonor Magtolis Briones, and by the certification made by your school head that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of senior high school under the K-12 curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education for the secondary schools of the Republic of the Philippines, I hereby confirm your graduation for the senior high school level. School year 2020-2021, this month of July 2021. Congratulations! Thank you, Mom Kabadi, for presenting the candidates and Dr. Kerpus for the confirmation of their graduation. It is said that the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to his or her commitment to excellence. We have come to one of the most awaited part of the ceremony, the awarding of certificates and academic excellence to our senior high school graduates. May I call on Ms. Aurea L. Gano, Grade 12 ABM Advisor. Christian Sicarion, with honor. Ryzen Lan C. Lozada, Roland James T. Pascogi, with high honors, Josh Paolo D. L. Pinka, with high honors, Roland D. Sopera, with high honors, Maxine Alessandra Avalos, with high honors, Eliza May L. Abiertas, Eden Ivan S. Alcantara, with honors, Maria Maniel D. Altura, Jonathan P. Barbero, Angelica J. P. Bautista, Sainer Glig S. Brian, with honors, Raymond A. Lotario, with honors, Jackie Dabuan, with high honors, Raymond Dayandante, with honors. Dorothy Joy C. De Castro with honors. Ira May Bay Denda with honors. Mariel D. De Quinia. Mary Jane G. Gamo. Marianne Joyce L. Hilario with high honors. May C. Hippolito with high honors. Maria Chelsea C. Igano with high honors. Dian May L. Infante with honors. Eliza A. Labanco. Bianca N. Mendones. Mackenzie T. Moreno. Ruth Ann T. Navarro with honors. Rosan D. Olarte. Cheska Beatriz B. Pasion with high honors. Pauline J. M. Perez with high honors. Patricia P. Rafael, with honors. Romelin L. Robinacio, with honors. Bevelin L. Robinacio. Jessica B. Sapa, with honors. 
Jose Miguel A. Carrizo Ken Ashley E. Gapio Jose Domingo N. Gara Kim Michael B. Mongin with honors John J. N. Puray Matt Conrad S. Rimulta Laika May C. Aguilar Shania Haley E. Antones with high honors Jaira Angel P. Daculius with honors. Maria Isabel Dalupan with high honors. Maria Cassandra C. Enriquez. Larissa C. Gala. Aileen A. Lorenzo. Hannah Grace L. Makadanda with honors. Maria Corazon C. Makarai with high honors. Alexia K. Marinas Mary Chris M. Maso with high honors Raven P. Nas with high honors Robin L. Padilla Alexia Gwen Perez with honors Rosanne E. Kelenta with honors Francesca May C. Celiano with honors Rina Lou G. Swell, Morris B. Swisher, Eliza A. Villa with honors, Well Hughes B. Margaret B. Gaman, advisor, Mike Daniel E. Baroga, Ace L. Cada with honors, Raymond A. Rodario with honors. Adrian S. Pucusi, Lester R. Labrama, Justine A. Lozano with honors, Rovic D. Naguto with honors, Janelo L. Parado, Kenshin D. Reyes with honors, Marga Garcia G. Baroga, Anatea G. Bass with honors, Mary Grace I. Chua, Imas Capicel E. Consac, Maria Gabriela C. D. Asis with honors, Althea Bell L. De La Cruz, Anahim Christine C. El Fante with honors, Alia Marga S. Jose with honors, Nesbitt Nisa, Micaela L. Magampo, Marta Andrea M. Mendezabal, Hershey A. G. Naval with honors, Taiza Marie C. Ortega, Kyle Lizette R. Ramos, Rian Mariel P. Rosette, Kyla Cassandra E. Shervo, Hannah Sofia S. Soromon, ICT, Arbel John D. Tacalio, Advisor. Dexter Kyle P. Arenas. Adrian B. Blones. Wenrick G. De Vera. Raymar D. De Mate. Lawrence Kyle L. Diola. Leonard Jesse Domdo. Melvin O. Erlanda, with honors. Robert Jr. E. Espiritu Peter Andrew C. Estrada with honors Jerome Max Gallanosa Norman D. Jacob J. Garcia with honors Alvin Q. Gonzalez Mark Anthony V. Macla Iverson D. Olan Brandon B. Sabio Joshua B. Santos Noel Jr. Tamayo with honors Josea J. Berin with honors Diana P. Alvarez with high honors Crisela Joy S. Arizala with honors 
Marjorie J. Ate, Ana Marie Avendano, Francine R. Bermeo, Christine Jane R. Bermeo, Michela B. Bobier, with honors, Eliza Ashley M. Bren, Lona May B. Kilo, Angeline A. Jacobe, Abigail N. Laksamana, Jennifer B. Macarial, with honors, Joanna A. Mangune, Maristela R. Miranda, Hannah Catherine Nieras, Altea Cassandra T. Olave, Eliza Janel A. Perlada, with honors, Ira May G. Rada, with honors, Aileen B. Urbistondo, Genevieve R. Velarde. Twelve Performing Arts, Pamela B. Bistuyo, Advisor. Carlos M. Antonio, with honors. James Kelly R. Bayotla. Russell Hill C. Brasileño. John Kenny M. Quali. Anton Bernard J. Dion, with high honors. Ian T. Intal. Lord Ray C. Mabaza, with high honors. Kill Priscil T. Magdato. Nino B. Paga. Joel C. Piyodena Jr. Cliff Einstein B. Remolar. Jasper Ivan Safran. King Isaiah Ferdi P. Tabilisma. With high honors. Jeff Andre O. Tinidero. With honors. Emmanuel C. Villar. With high honors. Angeline A. Bacasa. Mary Corinne F. Daniel. Quinlan C. Duran. Marjorie M. Estabelli. Leslie G. Icarus. Jerty Monet M. Manuel. With honors. Geraldine E. Oropeza, Jamia O. Panganiman, Siti Walia Pumbaya, Lakilo M. Remula, Raven M. Rivera, Claire Ann G. Roas, with high honors, Nyaela K. B. Suleiman, with high honors, and Darlene, Donna, and Villian Weber. Congratulations, Cassie Lagan graduates. Let us give them a big round of virtual applause. To inspire our senior high school graduates, we shall now hear important messages from our distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you Honorable Anthony Peter D. Crisologo, Congressman, 1st District of PSC. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Sa lahat po ng sumusubaybay ngayong araw na ito sa iba't ibang paaralan sa pagsisipagtapos ng ating mga estudyante. Uh, ako ba yung bumabati ng uh, isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Uh, sa ating uh, mga magulang, sa ating mga guro, sa ating school officials at syempre sa ating magsisipagtapos sa araw na ito. Alam po natin hindi madali ang inyong pinagdaanan itong nakalipas na taon. Ngunit uh, natapos ninyo ang inyong pag-aaral at kayo ay pupunta sa panibagong uh, phase ng inyong pag-aaral. Um, keep making us proud. Keep making your parents proud at syempre kaming inyong mga lingkod bayan ay hindi titigil na tumulong sa inyo para ma makamit ninyo ang inyong dream na kung saan pagkatapos ninyong magsipagtapos sa inyong uh, pag-aaral ay makakatulong kayo hindi lang sa inyong pamilya kundi sa ating bayan. So muli sa inyo pong lahat, congratulations, mabuhay kayo, and God bless. Thank you, 
Honorable Miss Hologo, for that very insightful message. We will not let this event pass by without listening to the message of our next distinguished guest, the Mayor of Quezon City, Honorable Maria Josefina G. Belmont. I am truly happy to have this opportunity to congratulate our dear senior high school graduates who have been working so hard in their studies this past year despite the immense anxiety and uncertainties this pandemic has given us. We don't know how hard it must have been for all of you to study alone without the company of friends and classmates, from face-to-face -face classes to online learning, and to survive the challenges that happened the past year. It was tough. We understood that, but with all of you in this ceremony, I am glad to acknowledge your patience, perseverance, and resiliency that made you stronger learners. Senior high school is a phase where students are being prepared for the kind of future they want. Marahil ang ilan sa inyo mag -e enroll para sa college, o ang iba naman ay magtutuloy na sa pagtatrabaho para makatulong sa pamilya. Iba-iba man ang magiging landas na inyong tatahakin, lagi ninyong tatandaan ang mga natutunan ninyo habang kayo ay nag-aaral. Hindi lang ang mga paksang itinuro sa inyo ng inyong mga guro, kundi pati na rin ang mga bagay tulad ng pagsusumikap, pagiging masaga, at ang buong tapang na pagharap sa mga hamon ng buhay. Ito ang mga kinakailangan ninyo para sa inyong buhay sa hinaharap. Graduates, no one can define your future but you. In your every step and every decision, it should always be towards the future that you are aiming for. The world is changing every minute and we are required to adapt or else we will lag behind. However, you must cling on to your goals in life. Here's a nice quote to inspire you. If the plan does not work, change the plan but not the goal. Let your goals be as clear and bright as a crystal so that despite that murky water that we are in, you can still see your end goal. The Quezon City local government wishes you the best future. Hopefully, more young people like you will be inspired to help this country as young professionals who can bring about innovation, developments, and better changes for a brighter world. Maligayang pagtatapos, aming mga mag-aaral, mabuhay tayong lahat. for that very encouraging message. Today's affair shall be graced by a special man who will deliver this inspirational message to our graduates and to their parents. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce to all of you Regional Director Wilfredo E. Cabral. At the onset, I'd like to greet and give you that warmest congratulations for surpassing the pan-academic year. To the parents, the proud ones, for being able to send their children at this stage, let us give ourselves a cup and say, to ourselves, congratulations. Under such volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous, and disruptive circumstances, several unexpected silver linings have emerged in the basic education realm. Many of our aspirations at first seemed impossible with all the doubts and apprehensions that made them seem really improbable. But when we summon the will, they now become our reality. Your fair business graduates brought this momentous event into our current reality. Amidst this ongoing onslaught of COVID-19 pandemic, that put enormous pressure in your part to adapt to the new learning norm, you never crumble. 
nor simply fold up. Your forbidness to learn carried this big day, the graduation ceremonies. With that, I warmly congratulate you all graduates. We, your Deb Ed Prime NCR family, share with your heartfelt joy as you celebrate your phenomenal educational accomplishment. Although there have been many concerns and frustrations on the drastic change in schools posed by pandemic, the upside is we have shown the light on how we can uniquely do our part to survive with the mantra, education must continue. And now we reach this far significantly and memorably celebrating your accomplishment. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, with the virtual conduct of the end of school year ceremonies, we must realize that the crux of life is all about preparing our graduates to the next big step in their lives full of hope and courage. This COVID-19 catastrophe will eventually settle down the corona coaster will sooner or later stop and in due course the corona magadon will be the thing of the past by then you graduates and will be the driving force to force a post-pandemic future in no doubt that you you have persevered the learning challenges and made this far you are the ones who will open up a new era in no time your generation will be our country's post-pandemic future and beyond the theme of this year's end of school rights is strengthening the quality of education amid the covid 19 pandemic resonated the collective effort of our teachers parents, school communities, local government units, partners in both public and private sectors, and other various organizations to ensure that quality basic education continue despite the challenges posed by the pandemic. To one and all who gallantly helped and made learning from home in varied modalities possible we thank you to all the graduates let us look forward and ensure that you will be our our that you will be let us look forward and ensure that you will be the frontliners to change this nation to change our country to a better one with the needed characteristics with the needed attributes for the future congratulations and thank you very much thank you regional director cabral for gracing us your presence in this event rest assured that we will keep your inspirational message alive in our hearts and minds. Once again, we gratefully acknowledge the virtual presence of the Department of Education Secretary, Dr. Leonor M. Briones, as she delivers an inspiring message to all of us. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at 
this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome, and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. 
you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited, because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student. 
because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics, and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. To all our distinguished guests, thank you for those wonderful and uplifting messages that you have imparted this afternoon. 
may those words guide our senior high school graduates as they thread a new path in their lives. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Benjamin Franklin once said, Indeed, it happened to these young men. Let us now listen to the graduation message of our student with high honors, Anton Bernard J. Guion. After which, Dan Icon Henrique R. Aguirre, with high honors, will lead the Pledge of Loyalty. Every day is but a process where everyone is being put to a test. Test by life, struggles, and stress. Conquering all brought but success. Days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and months turn into years. Years we walk through together, hand in hand, soon reach our goals and dreams. To our Congressman of 1st District, Quezon City, Honorable Anthony Peter D. Pisolopo. To our City Mayor, Honorable Maria Musefina G. Belmonte. To our Regional Director, Wilfredo P. Cabral. To our Deputy Secretary, Honorable Leonor M. Briones. To our Schools Division Superintendent, Janeline Rose B. Corpus, Session 6. To our Public Schools Division Superintendent assigned to Lucrecia Arcasilag Senior High School, Dr. Estrella R. Paman, and to our OIC Principal, Dominga P. Cavani. Brilliant teachers, ever supportive parents, my fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The new normal in education has never been easy, right? It brought us into uncertainty and doubt as we walk through the crossroads with almost a blind eye and went to war with incomplete values. But who would have thought we would come to this point, celebrating a challenge accepted and a challenge won? With pride and honor, I stand here today as a representative of Batch 2020-2021 of Lucrecia Arcasilag Senior High School graduates. I stand here today bearing the emotional luggage of joy and excitement, but with a little sadness and longing. We are excited for what awaits us hereafter, but a little sad and longing for we are about to bid our goodbyes and soon part ways. And a great assurance, however, we will forever cherish the memories of our virtual classes. My fellow graduates, Surely you can relate well with the starter pack of every Kasilagan senior high school student this academic year. And syempre, hindi dyan mawawala ang Google Classroom na personally ay ang pangkakabako dahil sa mga naka-assign ng mga deadlines. <laughs> And Google Meet, for those na tatatak sa atin na doon nangyayari ang mga virtual sermons, live lessons, and lectures at the same time. And also Gmail. Um, to summarize that, benta si Google sa atin ngayon mga estudyante dahil sa pandemic na ito. For most use lines in virtual classrooms, like, Uy, pre, naka-opply ka. And pag magpe-present naman tayo or magre-recite, uh, syempre sasabihin muna natin, uh, Ma'am, sir, clear po ba audio ko? And syempre, pag may internet interruption, na-disconnect si Ma'am or sir. Yan. Who cannot relate with modules, um, learning activities, um, video lessons, virtual warm-ups and exercises before the start of the class, and also the praise, tibay at lakas ng loob? Who cannot relate with those sleepless nights, finishing all academic workloads, beating deadlines, and writing our research papers once or many times made us frustrated and proud? Who cannot relate then with those distressing moments gawking in front of monitors or gadgets and answering activities while preparing for the next day's defenses and presentations? Relate much? Congratulations then! As we reflect on the essence of these struggles and challenges, 
let me share the continuation of the poem. Nothing will be a hindrance to one dreamer. No unclear and black path will stop the seeker. And determined mind and a courageous heart keeps going beyond the limits of the light. There will be no stop over nor surrender. For the dreamer and seeker sees no finish line. Today sets another milestone for all of us today. It's not yet the end, but just a beginning of another journey. It is not just a celebration among those who have been given special recognitions and awards for what matters is not what we have just attained, but what we have sacrificed and what have kept us moving forward. As we reap the fruits of our hard work, perseverance, and pursuit of excellence, let us not forget the people who have stood by our side throughout our journey. To our Almighty Lord, for He allows us to experience and reach this point of our lives, who gives us this wonderful gift, despite our flaws, and who guided us along the way here and never leaves us in our life's struggles. Thank you, Lord. To all our teachers who have dedicated so much of their time, patience, and expertise who have served as our second parents, other brothers and sisters, and even our best friends and confidants despite the struggles of adjusting to the new normal of education. And before I move on to the next statements, and I would gusto ko lang tong itagdag na din, um, given this time na pasalamatan ang um, specific advisor na nakasama ko for two years dito sa school na to. And lagi siyang sa akin nag-guide and naging part ng progress ko um, as an artist and as a student and also as a person. And for those maturity and attitude na nag-grow sa akin um, on how we live in life and on how we look for things holistically. Yeah. I would like to thank you, Ma'am Pam, Ma'am Pam and thank you po for being a part of my life and thank you po for accepting me for what I am and for my flaws and my assets in life na parang isa ka sa mga um, elements sa akin na tinulungan ako mag-grow talaga and I sincerely say from the bottom of my heart and thank you for everything to our parents who have sacrificed a lot the best parents who love and support us no matter what. We know that our thank you is never enough, obviously. Um, but still, our greatest gratitude is there for those support. Especially to my parents, Ma and Pa, na ni isang segundo hindi nila na ano yung mata nila pa alis sa akin sa mga ginagawa ko sa mga bako, sa bahay, and sa mga activities din na lagi silang nag update and nagsasupervise sa ako. And very thankful din ako dahil wala sila, wala ako kung hindi dahil sa kanila. Wala ako dito sa kinakatayon ko. And I know na hindi lang parents ko, kundi parents natin lahat are very proud of us kasi lagans. To Lucrecia, our Kasilag Senior High School, Thank you for welcoming us all as your sons and daughters. We have experienced all the comfort and security of a second home. May the school continu continuously grow and harbor the next generation's most successful professionals. As a parting gift, a great poet, John Don, once said, and I quote, We have become not a melting pot, but a beautiful mosaic. Different people, different beliefs, Different yearnings, different hopes, and different dreams. Everyone, I am Anton Bernard Jimenez John from the Grade 12 Performing Arts Family. Thank you, congratulations, good luck, and God bless us all on our future endeavors. Mabuhay Batch 2020-2021 of Lucrecia Arcasilag Senior High School. And padayon, makapako kasilagans. After this day, let us take the time to realize what we have done from this academic year. It could be negative or positive because I truly believe that God is always giving us the days 
to change, improve, and a chance to be a better version of ourselves, preparing us for the next chapter of our lives as it approaches. Before I say goodbye, let me sing to you a few lines from a song which I think we could all relate to. And before before I sing this piece, na nakuha ko din sa a certain movie, and medyo may impact siya sa mga nangyayari um, on my academic life personally, and syempre sa mga on the process. Na, na. I would like to dedicate this to na, sa 12 performers family ko na nakasama ko sila for the two years in this school, especially sa mga closest friends na nabuko doon. Special mention ko dito sila Mr. Lord Rinsi Mabasa, Ms. Monet Emanuel, Ms. Nyayla K.B. Soliman, Mr. Carlos M. Antonio, Mr. Jeff Canedero, Mr. Jan Quare. Kayo ang, ang isa sa mga main memories na nag-train Mark sa process ko dito sa Lucrecia. And thank you sa mga pagsama, even though we have um, arguments na mga nangyari in the past years or in the past months. Um, we, we stood strong on that. Hindi tayo nagpatalo doon. And super thankful ako na kayo yung naging part ng buhay ko sa senior high school life. And thank you for, for those happiness na pinrobay nyo um, between all of us. Hindi lang sa close, sa group of friends natin, kundi sa buong section natin na whole performing arts kabilang na napasaya nyo din si Ma'am Pam. Diba? So, yeah, let's, I will dedicate this now song, it's entitled. Maybe hindi ko nasasabi yung title ng song. Yes, kung alam nila yung kanta, sabayan nyo ako dyan, good for me. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own Through the dark, through the door to where no one's been before but it feels like home They can say, they can say, it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say, I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be A vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take Oh, a million dreams for a world we're gonna make
So help me God. Music is the expression of the soul. It moves emotions and feels with the movement of time. At this juncture, we shall listen to the graduates final song entitled Moments. that stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey has an end i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment i'm who Sucking my heart 